Welcome in everyone, how you guys doing? If you guys decided to hit that subscribe, like, share, follow me up on social media as well, and we're gonna get straight into this reaction. Brad Williams, fun size, yeah? Check out my comedy playlist, I'm trying to, you know what I mean, grow it slowly but surely, but we like comedy around here. We love comedy, not even like comedy, yeah? Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Brad Williams! <laughs> okay. <laughs> You guys are psyched. Of course you're happy. You know right now your story. Now look at the subliminals there with the, what's those, those, is it Brad Williams, but as like chocolate bars in the mini size, yeah? <laughs> it beats any one of your friends, no matter what the hell they're doing tonight. You're happy. You know right now your story beats any one of your friends, no matter what the hell they're doing tonight. They'll call you up tomorrow. Should have hung out with us, man. We went out to a strip club. They had a one arm stripper. She had a cartwheel. It was ridiculous. <laughs> what kind of lame shit did you do? Oompa Loompa made me laugh. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I like Oompa Loompa. Of course you're happy. You've got a little person in front of you right now. People are always happy when they see midgets. You can't help it. A lot of you don't know who I am. Don't know what TV shows I've been on. But I walk on stage, you're like, this is going to be good. <laughs> you see a midget, it's true. you're happy. You can't help it. No one's ever seen a midget and yelled out, well, now my day has gone to hell. That has not happened. I know, I know a few people you like that. This, you're smiling, you're laughing, you know it's a good shot. You got a parade and some candy coming your way. You're happy <laughs> as hell. Doesn't matter. You can get fired from your job, find out your wife is blowing some other dude. You walk down the street, you see me, you're just. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are not using uh, midgets properly in this country. <laughs> We have normal jobs. We should not have normal jobs. They should be giving midgets to cancer patients. How awesome would that be? Sorry, sir, I discovered you have cancer. Damn it, here's your midget. Fuck you! Oh, hell no. <laughs> he can say it, though. He can't say nothing. Try canceling him for saying that. He has every right to, you know? He can't, you know what I mean? you didn't like that joke at first. <laughs> Then I finished it, you're like, we, we will absolutely support that charity. We will support that. We should do a 5K. We should do a 5K. They're dwarves. We should do a 2.5K. We should do a 2.5K. <laughs> and that's true. I do make people happier. I did a show one time. A woman came up to me after the show and said, Brad, you're funny. I run a children's hospital. I would love it if you came down to the children's hospital, entertained the children, brought them some smiles. I said, yes, that's perfect. I mean, hell, you guys have known me now for a few minutes, and you know my act is perfect for the fucking kids. All right? <laughs> So I say, I'll do it. I go to the children's hospital. I'm exaggerating nothing. I walk into that door. A kid walks up to me, puts his hand on my shoulder and goes, don't worry, they'll fix you here. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're not allowed to karate chop the sick kid, okay? You're not allowed to do that. Why did you? I'm there on my Saturday giving up my free time to help him. He's got to piss on my self-esteem. And it happened over and over again. I was walking on the hospital. There would be all these kids. I mean, God bless them. They'd be walking around, dragging their oxygen tanks behind them like that. <laughs> and they would look up and see me and go, Jesus, glad I don't have that. Oh, my God. That <laughs> <laughs> they get it bad. But I get it. Uh. I understand. I understand why people are excited when they see a little person. I totally get it because when I'm walking around and I see another little person, I get excited too. <laughs> I do. Then you guys see two uh, of us. You get ridiculously excited. You're like, oh my God, there's two! <laughs> I hope they do a trick. I, I really hope they do a trick. <laughs> I do, I get excited when I see another little person. I'm not thinking about this constantly. It's not always on my mind. I don't walk around all day in my head, just I'm a midget, 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 I'm a midget. Oh shit, look at the walk. <laughs> look at the walk. <laughs> Hold up, dear. Are you taking I a know, minute? I know, if you're lying. Time, man, time. Let me see that little walk, man. I don't 
walk around all day in my head just I'm gonna make it up, I'm gonna make it up, I'm gonna make it up. Oh my days, look at this Am I wrong for laughing? I know, if your life had a DVR, you would have all 30 seconds back right there. <laughs> and I just rewound it too. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> he knew you were going to do that. He knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, and, and when I'm walking around and I see a little person, I get happy. Now, if the other dwarf I see is a male, if I see a male little person, I get excited. But at the same time, I know I have to fight him. It's on. I don't know why that is. I don't want to fight him. He doesn't want to fight me. But we lock eyes. We're like, it's go time. <laughs> Maybe dwarves are like Highlanders. Like, there can be only one. I, I don't know. Now, if I'm walking around and I see another little person and it happens to be a female, if I see a female little person, I get excited. You guys get quiet. <laughs> you see two little people come together. You're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> this is like National Geographic Channel come to life. <laughs> I'm like, taking a fist. Stop anything. You'll scare him. It's his mating season. <laughs> now, you would think that that might offend me. It does not offend me. I'm going to fuck that female little person. Okay? <laughs> It's happening. When it comes to dwarf pussy, I am a Dyson vacuum. I don't miss a damn thing. <laughs> it's happening. But Brad, she's a woman. She has a choice. What if she doesn't want to sleep with you? Are you kidding me? I'm in the top five midgets in show business. She's fucking me, okay? <laughs> it's happening. Top five. I'm not number one. I don't have delusions of grandeur, okay? I know where I am, all right? Number one. Your Dinklage from Game of Thrones. Hey. Of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> My boy. Number yeah. Number two is this guy named Wee Man from Jackass. He's pretty cool. <laughs> Some of you know who he is. Some of you are just now realizing that I am not Wee Man from Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Wee Man. Number three is a guy named Warwick Davis. He was in a movie called Willow, an HBO show called Life is Short. Number four, that's me. Uh, I'm number four, it's not bad. And then number five is the chick. Damn it, what the hell is the chick's name? No, the dwarf chick. Oh, yeah, Justin Bieber. That, that is a hot bitch. I want to do bad things to that woman. She is cute. Obviously, that's a joke. Uh, but I said that one night at a comedy club in Hollywood, California. I didn't know this. Bieber was in the audience that night, and he did not like that joke. <laughs> he did not like it. He walked up to me after the show. He's like, you're a son of a bitch, eh? That was not very nice of you to say to people. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up at him. <laughs> I love that that's a true story. <laughs> oh, bless him, man. Yeah, I don't care. Anytime I see any... Midges come around, man. They brighten up the day. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But yeah, if you guys decided to check out my comedy playlist, um, hope you all are safe, well out there. Subscribe to the channel. Um, social media above as well, too. And I'll see you on the next one.